So I got a package from Amazon uh, not too long ago and I felt like I needed to check this out for myself. So um, I've, I've actually, um, <clears throat> I've been wanting to use in-ear monitor for quite a while and oh, here's a smile. <laughs> Sorry, you can't really see it, but there it is. And um, I've been wanting to try all these. So I'm like, you know what? I want I need some in-ear monitors and I decided to get these, which is the ZST. Um, like I said, it's my first time using it, uh, KZ ZST. And yeah, it looks like they're from like uh, Japan, China, whatever. So yeah, and also I ordered some earmuffs or like, or yeah, replacement ear, like tips. Um, and we'll open it in a bit right now. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and use the ZST. Let's get started. So basically, like I said, um, I ordered these and uh, this is with the no mic, uh, hybrid balance, easy, K uh, ZST with no mic. I know that there's options for a mic, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use a simple, like, um, you know, like, it, it, I mean, it, it was $20. So it's, um, it's not like I'm gonna forget about it or anything, but, um, like, I wanna try it out, you know? Like, either that, and, I mean, you can easily get professional uh, in-ear monitors, like many drummers do. But I'm like, you know what, like if these don't work out for me and I need like special molding, then it's totally cool. I mean, like that's when like, you know, you're for sure you're playing like, you're constantly touring and or you're playing sold out arenas and I'd recommend getting uh, custom molded. So, uh, like I said, we're unboxing this. Uh, hopefully, oh, there's really no, sorry guys. Oh, cool, oh, this is awesome. So here it is, the reveal. It's badass, like literally has. So there it is, KZ uh, ZST in-ear monitor. Uh, like I said, it's just a box. It's really not much. Um, I was kind of skeptical about, like I said, getting these type. Um, I think these look pretty cool for the price we paid for, which is $20. It's like a good head start. Most uh, noise canceling headphones we need, especially as drummers, um, uh, we're gonna really, really need like good in here to cover up the uh, sound. I don't know how to get these out, honestly. Oh, they're coming out. Whoa, well, whatever. <laughs> so, cool package. At least I'll get to keep them in here. So you get uh, the user guide, uh, you know, save use of headphones when driving. Do not use headphones. Uh, the basically guide and I know that some people like they just open it and just go through it so it's always good to like um, follow the path of it so uh, and the diagram sound pressures because you don't want to blow up your ears I mean that's one thing that us drummers want to do so uh, uh, fortunately we don't have the wire microphone and this is really important uh, it brings me oh yeah uh, I guess we got well, well, actually, there's silicones in here, so let's get started on it. I, I got these, like I said, I got these as extras, so just in case for future references. And yeah, so we come with uh, the headphones themselves. We have, I'm guessing these are it. Well, let's find out what this is right here. Oh, it's the, yeah. Uh, Actually, it's a good thing I got the other ones. Like, these are actually rubber. Uh, not really a big fan of rubber because, like, you know, it doesn't really, like, stick to it. I'd rather have, like, foam. So, you get small and medium. I don't know if you guys could see them, but, yeah, it's small and medium. And, yeah, these are pretty decent. So. Next thing uh, where our opening is the wire itself. So, let's try with the wire. Let's see what we can do with this. I think this is pretty fantastic. Um, oh man, they're so small. So, yo, sweet hole. Oh, you can tell these are manufactured. Or actually, no, I think they look like someone actually tied them up. Because I've never seen this kind of tie up. But this is really fantastic. So, um, <clears throat> bear with me, guys. Uh, like I said, this is, this is the wire uh, that you pretty much put over. And, uh, 
I think I, I think this is an okay design. I mean, it's not really like good. I'd rather have like a straight, a straight like you know headphone jack. But I mean, you can't beggars can't be choosers, right? But um, yeah, like I said, this is for the KS uh, ZST, and of course at the end we have these uh, little connectors for the in-ear headphones. Let it auto adjust. Yeah, so we have the left and the right, and I really like that it has uh, over the ear, it's like ready to go, like you don't have to like adjust them, and it's like literally, like you can easily adjust them, you want it straight, and then, you know, this is really important, you don't want to just put it in over the ear headphones, so we have that going, and let's get to the ZST, let's go ahead and connect them. So yeah, guys, uh... So like I said, uh, I guess with these, I think they're kind of cool. Um, I adjusted the first one. I got it like on my first try. It was kind of weird. <laughs> um, let me get let me get the second one. Uh, just so you know, like some people had like problems like messing with these. Just remember, like it's kind of like I said, it's kind of weird to adjust them. Like if you feel like if you feel like there's any pressure, I wouldn't recommend like putting them on just to be sure. It should easily insert in like see if, if you can see there's pressure going on i don't think that's the correct way to do it so um there's like i don't know you have to do like a weird angle i mean it's you know like if you, if you feel like it's getting a lot of pressure then it's the wrong way so it took me a while to figure this out i just wish that they had like a like a or as far as the user guide i think it doesn't really specify i think that's the only feedback i'd give to zst just you know just to like for future references because yeah this would i think this is one of the biggest issues that many people had like problems like you have to give it like a little force like you know i just gave it like a little force and i think that's the way it went in and same thing for the other and uh <clears throat> let's go ahead and try them out so yeah Alright guys, so I was able to basically put it in, uh, I think it's pretty cool, I have to remove my glasses, but um, I'm trying it out right now, uh, I'm one of those guys that like to put it on my back ear, cause like you know, you don't, you don't want the wires to like get in the way and stuff, um, <clears throat> I hear it's so good, so far I use, uh, I use a pro metronome, uh, by e EUM Labs, so this kind of, uh, helps me keep the rhythm so I notice if I go higher like a certain width I could hear my hearing like slowly clicking to my brain so you don't want to put it too loud for sure um but I think everything is spaced out like you know just and if you put it in the mixer I think it's really awesome because you can hear the bass and that's what you're going to want to hear and if your drums are actually connected within the mixer, you're going to hear yourself as well. So that's kind of cool. Like, you know that you're not going to mess up. Um, I'm going to take it to practice. Uh, like I said, uh, they both fit in. So I think it's kind of cool. Though. So when I'm, you know, practicing, I could feel like I don't, I don't feel like sometimes when I, I'm at, I actually am practicing with the band. I, with my, with regular headphones, I, I feel like when I like, I do faces when I practice. So I feel like they would like get loose, but I think with my cap on and everything ready, I don't think I could like, you know, like I could do this and I'll still hear the metronome without feeling like the metronome coming out, especially if there's instruments around. So this will not only help my hearing because uh, I have like these regular earbuds that protect me from uh, hearing a lot of sounds. So this, these are going to help me like 10 times better. Um, this and the metronome connected to my phone. So it kind of, it, it benefits me more than just hearing the instrument blasting in my ear. And like I said, you get extra earplugs. Um, and uh, I got these replacement earphone tips. You know, just extra, it was like... Um... Sorry about that guys, my camera died. So um, <clears throat> yeah, so now I'm using my phone to record this. Uh, yeah, so yeah, like I said, I, I messed with them and I think they're really, really cool. Um, the cord's kind of short, but, you know, like, I'm not really going to use a long wire, you know, or I, I don't have a mixer yet. Um, I should be getting one soon. Um, the bass is good on it. Uh, it depends on what uh, what song it is, basically, like I said. Um, 
it all varies, you know, like it all really, really depends on how you're going to use them. But as far as base goes, I think it's fantastic and it's a good starter. So like instead of you buying like official like in-ear monitors, like 400, 300, 400 in-ear monitors, starter packs, I, I'd say, yeah, go try, try these out. I mean, like, I mean, if you're especially I'm going to try these in recording sessions and I feel like they're going to do really good justice. I use the metronome. I try to use the lowest click, it still hits my ear. I don't want to damage my ears, but you know, sometimes I want to hear that tick, 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 or the tick, 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 one of those. And yeah, like I said, uh, it does kind of fit big in the mirror. That's the only downfall, but it's my ears fault, not mine. And like I said, they made these adjustable for everybody's ears. So it kind of looks like it's, it's like, it looks slim. Like you think it would be slim. On some people, it might fit them slim, which is kind of good. Or they might fit large so it all depends like i said on the inner monitors um i guess i finally found my uh i guess i wasn't one of the lucky ones to have that official ear so um yeah guys so like i said this is the K e uh, uh kz zst um check them out i'll put a link below and like i said i mean these are really good 20 dollar ear, ear monitors and i like i said instead of like getting paying for shipping I bought this as an extra, so it was like 26 for, without it, without these, it's 26, or it was 25, I'm like, 26, hey, it's good to have replacement buds, and actually, these are, um, uh, memory foam earbuds, so, you know, these are kind of better than the rubber, you know, either way, it's good to have both, but like I said, uh, this one just added to your card, I believe, and I think it should be okay. So that's pretty much my final verdict on this. Like I said, the wire is really good. I know some people said the wire is kind of flimsy, uh, but I think it's really good. I mean, for I mean, like I said, twenty dollars it can't be justice, and you know it's a it's a gold yeah, gold tip, so it should last you quite a while compared to the silver tips. And yeah, I think that's about it, guys. If you have any more questions about the in-ear monitors, let me know. And like I said, I'm gonna be using it for practice. And I'm going to use it uh, for recording sessions. So this is going to be a pretty interesting, like, you know, uh, perspective of using uh, in-ear monitors. Like I said, I usually use headphones. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just been, I kind of want to try, like, you know, just basically using in-ear monitors over um, regular headphones, you know, because I, you know, I, the headphones serve good, but I'd rather practice using in-ear monitors for future purposes in case I perform live or anywhere else in location and yeah so like I said if you have any questions let me know and I'll get back at you until next time guys I'll have more gear or I guess whenever they send me more gear uh this one Casey sent me this eh, which is kind of weird but um yeah if you have any questions let me know guys peace out